Scientists have always known certain people just don't get cancer, even when exposed to cancer-inducing agents such as cigarettes. Now, what makes those people immune to the disease is being developed to kill cancer, a possible cure in humans that may be found right here in Palm Beach County. You are looking at microscopic video of cancer cells being eradicated. They're literally being popped at the top and at the bottom by special healthy cells. Proof researchers say that a cure is out there. Just a transfer of cells as the elusive cure for cancer, a godsend for millions around the world, could be coming. Not from the heavens, but from this Boynton Beach-based medical building. Yes. Dr. Dipnarine Maharaj, a hematologist and stem cell transplant specialist, will soon hold a clinical trial at the South Florida Bone Marrow Stem Cell Transplant Institute that could prove the cure for cancer has already been found. It all started with his partner, Wake Forest University professor Zane Cooey, who's done cancer research on lab mice for years. He found mice who never got cancer, even after being exposed to it, and then determined that certain white blood cells within their immune system prevented them from getting the cancer. What he was also able to find was that he could transfer those cells from mice that from the mice that could, would not get cancer to mice that uh, actually had cancers induced and also developed cancer and he was able to cure the mice of those cancers. Back to that video here showing a cancer cell being attacked by the smaller white blood cells. The cancer cell literally exploding and disappearing. After 10 years of research on mice, the FDA has approved Dr. Maharaj to try out the white blood cell infusion on human cancer patients at his institute. My gut is that if, from, based upon what we have seen in the mouse model, where you have mice that can be cured of the cancer, uh, my gut is that this, will, this, this looks very promising. Well, Dr. Maharaj has gotten federal approval to run this clinical trial. He still has to get through the financial hurdle. It takes $4 million to run a clinical trial on 29 patients.